Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Hutz and we're playing Binding of Isaac. So I have just recently unlocked the cathedral and I am working on getting all of the pieces of the Polaroid. So I think you have to beat Isaac in the cathedral like, what is it, like six times or something to get all the pieces of the Polaroid? I think I have two left. And as soon as we get all the pieces, we'll be able to play in the chest because you have to bring the Polaroid from the mom's the mom, I think it's the mom heart battle that drops the Polaroid, and um, you have to bring that trinket to Isaac. This is really risky. I'm like so close to him. Just don't go up. Just don't go up. Don't do it. Get away from me. So yeah, we unlock the chest if we get the Polaroid to Isaac and beat Isaac with it. Obviously, if you lose to Isaac, you're not gonna unlock shit. Um, but. I am playing Isaac right now because it's extremely... It, he's so much easier to play than any of the other characters, at least in my opinion, because he has the D6. Um, you pretty much get, you know, multiple real rolls per floor, and you just get so many second chances on so many crap items that um, with anybody else you would just have to take. You know, like, uh, oftentimes I'll you know, re-roll some garbage item like Cat or Nine Tails, and you'll get like the pentagram or something ridiculous. And uh, it's it's not a guaranteed that it's not guaranteed that you're going to win as Isaac, but it's um, a pretty good, a lot better chance, I should say. So we do have a full charge. I want to find that item room. That's not good. I got totally trapped there. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, but. If I get red heart damage, especially now that I've already fought the boss, I mean, it doesn't matter on the first floor because there's no deal with the devil on the first floor, I don't think. Red heart drop in a normal room, that's actually pretty odd. Give me something good. Teleport me to the devil room, please. Eh. Okay, pills. I wish I had some sort of PhD or some guarantee it'd be a good pill, but here goes. Bad gas, okay, it's nothing bad. Just, just nothing bad is all I'm hoping for. And luck up, okay, excellent. I, uh, I love luck up, okay. Um, like a monstro, not monstro's tooth, but um, the brass knuckles would actually be a pretty good item to have with luck up because it increases the chance you'll shoot a, a tooth. And here's the item room. So okay, we're just gonna go ahead and take that. Poison touch is good for. I mean, I I, I get hit a lot, and like like I just did this floor, I got ran into, and the poison damage is actually going to. Uh, it's gonna kill most enemies. And I have three bombs, and there's seven cents in there, so that does that seems worth it to me. And we can get, go check the shop out then, if we end up getting a key, which doesn't seem like it's going to be the case, but... Oh, jeez. Um, you know, we can hope. You know, take everything away from a man, just, just give him hope. Alright, um... I'm kind of feeling a little scatterbrained today, so sorry if I'm taking unnecessary damage, or I kind of get, uh, spacey at times. But, uh, you know, it happens to the best of us, but I still wanted to record, I wanted to play this game. We did get a key, and potentially, though, I could bomb into the shop if this is the secret room. It might not be, though. Okay, it is the secret room. Ooh, look at that! So, I just, you know, fuck the rerolls. <laughs> I'm just finding great items. Transcendence. Um, I'm just a floating head now. I get flight. Flight on the first floor. That's pretty amazing. And a health up and Poison Touch. This is uh, looking to be a pretty good run given this first floor. So if I drop a bomb, um, can you bomb into that? I think, you, yes, you can, okay. So that saves me from using a key, which is actually really, really nice. And, oh my gosh, there's a tinted rock. Oh boy, give me a penny, please. Give me a one penny, one penny, oh, okay. I could buy the pill, I was gonna go buy the pill, but now that I see the tinted rock, I'm gonna definitely buy the bomb. Um, because the chance of small rock and soul hearts is just too great. Okay, one soul heart, yeah, fine. I would have, usually, I think the soul hearts are usually five cents. And since I paid five cents for the bomb, I pretty much paid five cents for a soul heart. And everything looks good to me. I don't have any bombs, so we can't find the super secret room. Moving on. Ooh, free key. Th those are the best rooms. <clears throat> Besides the fact that you don't get a uh, um, recharge onto your D6. And <laughs> best room to like the worst room possible. Oh my god! There's no way I was gonna dodge that. Uh, speed up right now would actually be pretty good. This feels so weird that I'm a floating head. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure as to which block I'm standing on. 
Uh, another bad gas pill. And I'm taking so much damage, too. Okay, so... Deals of the Devil Chances. It, it relies pretty much strictly on... First of all, how, much, how cursed you are. And second of all, how much damage you take. If you take damage on a normal room, I think it goes down by like 30%. And if you take more damage on the boss, red heart damage, not soul heart damage, which I think I actually only took soul heart damage, so we're good. If you take uh, more red heart damage on the boss, that's like another 30% chance. It's down to like 1% chance that you'll find the uh, devil room. And okay, uh, I have six cents, so I'm gonna wait to go to the shop until I get more, if I get more. Two keys, uh, no, not yet. If I get more keys, we can come back. Um, what was I just saying? Oh yeah, and uh, if you're cursed, like if you get some sort of uh, item, I'm not really exactly sure what the items are that, that give you more of a percentage uh, chance of finding, oh my gosh, oh baby, <laughs> oh my god. No, there's a spider over here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, the dodging, jeez, best ever. All right. Anyways, oh, like I was trying to say, another key, that's good, it's a good thing. Um, if you get a cursed item, I think that jumps your percentage chance. So you would be at 1% if you took damage, or 2%, one of the two. You'd be at 1%, if you took damage, you'd be at like 2%, <clears throat> sorry, I'm. let me try to explain that better. If you took damage on a normal room and you took damage on- Why am I taking damage? How are these guys hitting me? Health up. That's fantastic. Thank you for making that up to me. Jesus. If you take damage on a normal floor and you take damage on the boss, you're now down to like a 1-2% to chance you'll find the devil room, but if you have a curse item, you're back up to like 20%, I think. Uh, item room we're definitely gonna go in. Scapular. Okay, so scapular is like, yeah, it's a good item. But it's an item I'd rather see late game, um, because it, it makes it so that as soon as you get down to uh, half a heart, you get a free soul heart. And I don't intend to get there anytime soon, but it, it could happen. It could potentially save me. And scapula is really good for uh, farming um, the like the basically the blood banks and stuff like that. And uh, if you have it in conjunction with nun's habit and the battery and stuff, like, you just get re-rolls like nobody's business. Unlimited re-rolls. Um, I just actually watched an episode uh, of Biznap, and he, he was using Scapular along with the Nun's Habits and a bunch of other items, and, and he just, he racked up the most ridiculous run I've ever seen. And I am so freaking slow right now, this is ridiculous. I can't dodge just at, like, anything. I I'm also just standing still, so it's not really helping me, but... Oh, bitch. <laughs> Two of them with a fart. These guys jump so far, too. And what really gets me is the slide after the jump. Okay, so we have to not take damage on this boss room if we're going to find the devil room. And I would like to since I have lots of health. I had a health up pill and I had another health upgrade in the last boss fight. And so, yeah, we'll just jump in. I got a full recharge, so we might as well just get to it as fast as we can. Blighted ovum shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh my god, he's so fast and I'm so slow. This is like uh, like the advanced version, it seems like, the, of the uh, regular Blighted Ovum. It's a really good thing that I can fly because otherwise I'd have to deal with his creep. So nice. I was like, flying for me is necessary in any run because I always take stupid damage on all the creep and the spikes and stuff. Like, oh my god, damn it. I did not know he was going to explode. Pageant boy, definitely gonna reroll that and do another HP upgrade. Oh yeah, man, if I didn't take that stupid damage right there, I could have had a freaking deal with the devil, which would have been excellent. And I have all this health to spend. Uh, shop with eight cents. I'm not gonna go to the shop, I don't think, maybe, I don't know, possibly. We'll go to the shop. I was gonna say, I'm gonna open up the, the golden chest, but I think I'd rather have a chance to fight greed to get more money, or maybe there's a, uh, an item on sale, or even just to buy <sighs> so you're buying another key, that would be basically like we just threw uh, five cents out the window, or buy a soul heart. I think I want to buy the soul heart, which will uh, help us uh, guarantee, not guarantee, but it'll help us uh, have give us better odds to find the devil room on the next floor. Sorry, I'm kind of tripping myself up, like I said, I'm kind of spacey today. Um, secret room, where would the secret room be? Potentially here, maybe? 
because I'm not sure if it can actually be adjacent to a boss room. Okay, so it wasn't there. That was our only bomb. Oh well. It's possible. Can it can it be adjacent to a boss room? I'm not sure because I wouldn't think they'd let you have the chance to like bomb into a boss room. All right. This room should be no problem with flight. What am I really looking for? Uh, damage up and speed up. Uh, probably damage before speed, but we are dodging like shit right now. And I say we because I like to share responsibility. I don't want to just take it all for myself. I mean, this, this is partly you guys' fault. I mean, come on. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. I know there's one person out there that's like, what? Fuck you. <laughs> all right. Stupid turrets, especially with low damage, they're so annoying. Alright. This room should be no problem. Give me a good drop in the middle and make me feel special that I can fly. Transcendence, that's, it's kind of brutal though. Like, you know, it's a, it's a noose, so it's like you hung yourself, but like, your body came off when you hung yourself. Um, flight is really going to help us in dodging, but since I'm dodging like shit anyways, I just hit that guy into my path. I, it might not help me, because, like I said, just playing like shit right now. Hopefully I can scrape something out of this run. Okay, no red heart damage. It's good that you, it's it's good to find the boss room as quick as you can, so you minimize the chance to take damage. So now we didn't take damage on our normal floor, so I think that's a, up to 30% now. Now I have to try to not take damage on uh, fist, fist daddies. And then it, oh man, if I had a bomb, a tinted rock there. Um, as I was saying, don't take damage now, and we will most likely, the odds suggest that we will see the Devil Room. And I wish I could stand on top of this and shoot out because I can fly and, and they don't go through uh, objects, so I'd be safe here. But sadly, I don't have, um, I don't have spectral tears. I'm so used to Spirit of the Night. Like, whenever I get flight, it's it's usually because I got Spirit of the Night, and that also gives you Spectral Tears, so like, whenever I have flight without Spectral Tears, it just completely throws me off. Oh god, get away. I don't wanna play. No! Don't eat me. Some pretty nasty silkworms, man. Alright, this is really annoying. There's way too much going on, I can't even... Oh my god! This is like Jez Ball. You guys ever played Jez Ball? And that, I know that sounds dirty, but it, it's it's not. Oh my god! I can't even move! How am I supposed to? Okay, I'm gonna go over here. This might be more safe. Safer. Alright. Um, yeah. And when I panic, I can just go to the corner, and it'd be much easier to hit than a floating rock. Come on! Get out of my space! There we go. I got something. Jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get them peep peeps? Alright. Come on. Everybody's in my corner right now. Get out of my shit. Get out. No. God, these silkworms are gonna be the death of me. This is this is the most annoying fistula fight I have ever been in, ever. There we go. Get him without him being able to see me. Perfect. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Okay, we should be able to clean it up now safely. Now, no red heart damage. And give me that, deal with the devil. I do have a fully charged D6. So hopefully, um, okay, the box. We'll, we'll check out the devil room first before we decide to reroll the box. And I might not, okay. Hmm. Oh, we have a damage up and a Necronomicon, which, garbage. I think I'm going to take the mark because it, it's a damage up and that's exactly what I said I wanted. So we'll, we'll take the damage up. And then we'll take the box, and I'm gonna re-roll the Necronomicon just in case it's something good. Uh, no, not even close. So potentially we could get, potentially we could get uh, another re-roll on this floor if the item room pays out with a nice item. Uh, goat hoof. I like the goat hoof. That'll give me extra speed. So there we go. Damage and speed done. <laughs> We're gonna win for sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have the two hearts, which is gonna give me more health. So if I find an arcade. I'll uh, probably poke around with the um, the blood machine, the blood bank, and this pill, which we don't know yet. And we have already had a health up and something else up, I think. So this could be negative. Oh, bad trip. Yeah, it was not good. I think we lost half a soul heart there. We'll take the two of hearts card. Um, 
we are only missing half a heart, so to take a full heart is a waste because we could come back after we lose more. Doesn't matter if we take red damage, red heart damage now because we already found the deal with the devil, which feels very nice. It's a weight off of my shoulders. And we got the mark. The mark is good. I mean, we're not shooting blood tears yet, but you know, I have a feeling we'll, we'll get there. If this room, if we're gonna survive, we're probably gonna have to get something to give us extra damage. And right now we are not really looking for the item room. Um, soon though, because we want to find it right when we get our, our D6 charge up. I want us to get like a, a really fun special item, like a $3 bill or, or, or something that's out of the ordinary. Okay, so there, there's a tinted rock here and there's also a tinted rock in the boss room. Uh, potentially, you know, we could buy uh, another bomb from the shop, but there's a good chance it's going to be greed. Uh, nope, and there's no bomb for sale, so it doesn't really matter. Coin purse, actually, I, I would like to take that. I usually take the coin purse because uh, there's just lots of good pills, and a lot of times pills can make the difference between a bad and a good run. But we're gonna just go ahead and bomb this guy. Give me the small rock, would you? <laughs> Look at that. I want to find the item. I, I should start uh, doing that more often. I need to tell the game. Okay, it's voice activated. I didn't know that. There was a patch recently that uh, made Isaac into a voice activated game, and it also made me into just the most terrible dodger ever. Type in your name. It says, are you Huts? And then it just t turns your uh, dodge skill down. I know that makes absolutely no sense, but... Uh, give me some bombs. I should have said it before I opened it, because that's... Oh, this has been working. Uh, sacrifice room, yes. Especially with flight. Okay, so now we see where the uh, secret room is. With flight, yes, I'll take that. And then I'll put it back down. And that could be a reroll pedestal. And spiders. I wish you could reroll spiders. Um, what was I just saying? Oh, with flight, you can go into a sacrifice room. It's not really a sacrifice room. I, I called the sacrifice rooms the one with the spikes in the middle. Um, what do I call this one? Curse room. It's a curse room. Um, okay, so I rerolled Guppy's head into uh, Horror Babylon. That's good enough for me. Uh, what that's going to do is, as soon as I hit uh, half a red heart, I'll turn into this guy, which gives me even more increased damage. But um, it doesn't really matter right now. So we have Scapular and Horror Babylon. So we're going to be doing well when we get really low on health, which is kind of contradicting itself because we're obviously not doing that well if we're <laughs> that low on health. Okay, let's see here. Um, do I want to spend my money? What was in the shop? I'm going to save up just to see. You know, I could get some random nickels and stuff. Uh, I have to walk out, which is really a shame. So when you enter uh, a cursed room like that, you don't take any damage with flight. But when you leave it, you do take the damage. And this guy is going to kill me. Don't do that. No, stop it. Don't. Knock it off. Don't tell mom. God damn it. His internal heart's like blocking everything. Jeez, oh god damn it, at the end he gets the damage off. I'm losing all my soul hearts already, this is not good. And I'm not going to get a full charge for the item room, so it better fucking be good. Give me a dime, a dime was gonna be like the only way I'd be able to, or, or the quarter in the room, it's the only way I'd be able to um, find, or only way I'd be able to buy the item in the item shop. The stars card is going to teleport me to the item room. And if you can't see, the lighting has changed on my face right now because my dog just ripped down the curtain. Uh, I know he's being an asshole right now. Let's get, so the stars card teleports me to the item room. Since it's already here, it doesn't really matter. I think I'm gonna roll it to two hearts card. Um, it'll save me a key probably to get in. It's really unfortunate that we found the game kid. Uh, garbage item. Actually, I could have used the game kid to get into the curse room without taking damage, or to get out of, rather, because going in doesn't take any damage. Yep, we're gonna roll to the uh, two hearts card, and mm, we can't get back into the secret room because I don't have any bombs. We could potentially go into the shop and buy that soul heart that I believe was on sale. So I think we're gonna do that right now. Uh, yep. Tarot card, though? No, nah, the two hearts card is fine with me. We can still buy it. Do we want to buy it? We'll, f we'll check it out. What is it? Death. Okay, we'll, we'll roll the death card. Probably be, be more useful for me. 
especially since there's no uh, arcade on this floor. I would have really liked to use that. There's some hearts laying around too, it would have been nice. Um, secret room's already found. Not gonna go for the super secret room. Another bomb would have been freaking nice. God damn it. I hate when you have to pass up tinted rocks. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I also hate when the game decides to take your only key from you. Yay! Especially to fight greed. Oh, damn it. And especially when you get hit by greed. You asshole. Get away. No. I don't want to play with your leapers. God damn it. Okay, his shot speed is, is way too high. He's gonna ruin my chance for Devil Room. Okay, so got Steam Stale from him, which is fine since we uh, haven't had too much money. All right. He wasn't able to steal any of our money either because I didn't have any. <laughs> Sucker. I just gotta remember I have flight now with these spikes all around. All right, don't take stupid damage. Jesus, that was close. All right, it's best to shoot these guys on the other side of the freaking room when they're not next to your face because you'll have a lot more time to dodge their shots. There we go. Bomb and a key in the same room. So we're at 111. That's pretty good. Um, sometimes you can use these guys to find the secret room because if you think a secret room might be somewhere, you can just wait for them. You can keep like one guy alive and just wait for him to try to throw a bomb at you. It's actually a really nice way to save bombs, but since there's four doors around us, that's obviously pointless. I could have them bomb me out of the room, but if you don't clear everybody in the room before you leave it, you come back and everybody's respawned, so... I want to find the item room. Okay, that didn't work out that time, and I got hit by a spider that I didn't even know existed. Not paying enough attention. Alright, got a pill here, it's probably bad. No, speed up, there we go, alright, more speed, that's excellent. Because uh, we, we actually got to speed down after getting the... Um, the, the small rock, damage up, speed down, and I think that's now been counteracted by the speed up pill. Oh, Jesus. Something I just learned recently is that when you get certain uh, up, up pills, like health up, certain items won't show up anymore. And I think that might have been the case with the tears up pill and some other item. I don't remember what it was, but it was pretty significant. Um, I just heard it briefly on, a, on another... Uh, YouTube video, but uh, definitely there's there's so much strategy in this game that it's really really hard to keep up with what's going on and like the percentages and stuff. Like um, I didn't know that you know it was exactly 30% chance that you lose if you take damage, red heart damage on a normal floor, and another 30% if you take damage by a boss. And it's just I don't know. There's so much going into this game that you could pour your heart and soul in and uh, never get bored. And of, of course, that's why, you know, Northern Line has 700 episodes and Biznap has like, what, like 400 or something. Just something insane. Not that they are insane or anything, but it's it's pretty crazy how many episodes they have. Um, I'm looking for the item room because I got a fully charged D6. God damn it. This could have been nice for my uh, two hearts card that I don't have anymore. You know what? I'm going to just uh, throw a Hail Mary here and I'm going to say it's over here. I know I'm kind of backtracking, and I'm going to hate myself if it's not over here, but... Come on. Damn it. No, I don't like this room. I'm going to do, do it. Fuck it. I did it. What are you going to do about it? Just I, That was a room that I was definitely going to take red hard damage on, and... F that. Alright. Spiders go away. Walk into my... There we go. Perfect. And I got another key. So we're looking good on bombs and keys. We've been getting like tons. All right, that's good. Um, that is a mob boss trap room thingy where you have to be down to half a red heart in order to get into that room. So there's also a, there's a blood bank. So we could farm our way down there, but since I don't have any soul hearts, so I have half a soul heart. It'd be really risky. I'm not sure if I'm willing to do that. I don't want to be too risky, because I don't want to blow it, since, you know, you guys... I haven't played too many Isaac games, and I want them all to go well, because I don't want you guys to think I'm just a terrible fucking player. Uh, here's our item room, so I'm gonna go in there. Ooh, quarter. Um, did we go into the shop? I think we did go into the shop, and I think it was garbage. Um, I'm gonna just go back and double check that, because if it's not garbage in there, and I really need the money, to buy something sweet, then I could... Oh, it was green, that's right. I was thinking, like, why can't I remember what was in the shop? Obviously, there was nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and re-roll the quarter 
there's really no reason to take it. It's nothing to buy on this floor, so. Uh, 10 bombs. I'm gonna go do the rest of the floor, see what comes up. There's no, there's no uh, rush to take 10 bombs. Four would be plenty to clear out whatever boss I come across. And I usually don't use bombs on boss fights, but um, I definitely can. I, I definitely am a fan of using bombs offensively. Especially when you when you place them just right and you can get, you know, five different people with one bomb or five different segments of the boss or, you know, yada yada yada. Okay, get these guys as quick as I can. Ha! He spit the spider out into the, the spike trap. Don't miss. Okay, so I, I could potentially find the secret room, but I'm gonna wait to do that after the boss in case we need the bombs, like I said. The husk, okay. Not a fan of the husk. I'm much uh, more of a fan of the Duke of Flies since he's uh, slower and doesn't shoot as much bullets. I don't think actually Duke of Flies shoots any bullets. I think he's just doing the flies. Um, but this guy does spiders, flies, and bullets, which is not good. And he moves way faster, and I just freaking... Okay, don't take any more damage. No more damage. I can't do it. No! This actually might be a good time for a bomb. No, I missed him. You bitch. God damn it. That would have been perfect, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That soul heart would be really nice, too, to ensure my devil room chance. There we go. And no devil room. Okay, that's whatever. But I got a soul heart and another HP upgrade. Uh, this is fantastic. You know what? I probably should have waited to uh, use the um, this guy before I took that HP upgrade, because I'm not sure if that really healed me. Uh, we'll reroll this into Polyphemus, or Polyphemus, whatever you want to call it. This, okay, so our tears shots, our, our, our tier speed is way down. Not tier speed, but rate of fire is way, way down. But our damage is way, way up, as you can tell by the size of the tier, and it's a blood tier. So this is odd. We are a floating circle with a giant, like, one circle eye. This just looks like, you know, it's like the target symbol. <laughs> um... We are going to go into the mob boss trap room. I'm going to do it. Well, assuming that this doesn't pay out before then. Which, if it does, that's that's great. We'll get another HP upgrade. Or the IV bag, which you never really hope for. I, I never hear anybody be like, Yay, the IV bag! <laughs> so it's a bad thing. Okay, so we're almost there. Two more. And there, there we go. Okay, so we're going to roll in with uh, Horror Babylon. I completely forgot about that which is really good. It's gonna be even more damage, but we can only take three hits before we die. So this is risky. Don't try this at home, everybody. All right, I need to not take that. No, fuck you. Okay, so the only reason I felt like it was okay to go do this whole thing is because I could get that health afterwards. And of course, the freaking troll game <sighs> forced me to pick up the goddamn heart. Fuck you, game. And the blood bank didn't even pay out. It's just, this room better have something freaking awesome in it. There's still a heart left. So as I said, I can take three hits. I do not want to take three hits. I can't take three hits. I can take two hits. Squeezy. Uh, tears up, and it's going to give me two soul hearts, which is good, because I'll be able to pick the soul hearts up right away and have a much better chance to survive the room. And it shouldn't be anybody too terrible. It seems like I should be doing more damage than this with Polyphemus. Or Polyphemus, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to keep saying that. Um, everybody calls it Polyphemus, but I, I heard recently that it's actually pronounced Polyphemus. I'm not sure if that's something I you know care to roll with. Because I feel like even if it is the correct way, nobody calls it that. So everyone's going to be like, dude, it's Polyphemus, you fucking moron. <laughs> so I'm just probably going to call it Polyphemus. But in the same vein, someone could say, dude, you dumbass, it's Polyphemus. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I usually try to be correct when I, uh, you know, when in using words, I try to say them correctly, but it's not a big deal, I guess. We'll look for the item room, or the secret room, rather. Could be really any one of these spaces. And I only have one more bomb, so we're gonna pick up this heart, and I'm gonna go ahead and check. This is, it's probably right here, I'm betting. Yes, it is. And dime. There's the dime that we were looking for before. 
Should, we should be one-shotting fires. Come on, Polyphemus. Polyphemus. Um, did, since I did pick up the soul hearts, we have a lot more protection, and I'm gonna go ahead and play out the blood bank and hope it does something for us. A nickel is good. Uh, two nickels even better. So we're at 50 cents. Holy shit. Um, that's fine. I'm not even gonna complain that it didn't pay out. 51 cents. That's ridiculous. Give me a shop or an arcade. Somebody. Help a brother out. Um, I could pay money and potentially get some soul hearts. I'm going to put like six cents into this just to see what happens. Could get a, a better trinket too. Bloody Penny is probably one of my favorites. Okay, this is not paying out at all. This is a bad machine. Well, there we go. I haven't got luck up. I don't want to get that uh, freaking... I don't want to pay... Uh, I don't want to get my key stolen. All right, um, I'm not sure if that was a good thing that I picked up that heart because we're no longer going to be rolling with uh, Horror of Babylon, but that's okay, I guess. We, we'll get it back when we get down to that health anyways, I suppose. So it's definitely, definitely a good thing that I took the heart. So there is opportunity that your uh, Polyphemus shot will go through an enemy and I think it actually loses damage then when it hits the next enemy. But it's still a pretty sweet tier effect. Like that, just killed two two things in one shot, which kind of makes up for the um, lack of uh, rate of fire that I have going on. And one-shotting bomb flies, that's pretty nice. See, I never like shooting tons of shots at them and being like, please don't blow up. <laughs> Especially with poison damage, that's when bomb flies get really tricky. Okay, um, flies, just, just go away. Stop it. I don't like these guys. No. Nope. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bomb fly. There you go. What? Oh damn it! I'm moving too quickly. I tried to, to swoop around, and I totally just jumped directly into the bomb fly. That was not a good move on my part. I'll take responsibility for that all the way. All right. There we go. And one for you. Two bombs, three keys. Yeah, it's good. It's good. When's the last time you heard that? That's been a while for me. Alright, these guys. There we go. One for you. Uh, item room. I have a full D6 charge. Ooh. Roid Rage. Um, that is a speed upgrade. And I just said that we were moving too fast. And something just said it unlocked. I wasn't paying attention, um, which is a good thing because um, I like to, I want to unlock as many things as I can, unless it was something really, really bad that I just unlocked. But look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm going so fast. This looks so weird that I'm just this giant floating head that's just cruising around. Okay, this is not going to be a friendly room. Unless that green turret just totally helps me out, which it's uh, doing so far. Ooh, that was close. Get him. Get him. Oh, snipe. Okay, uh, shop, yeah. Nun's habit, yep. And hells, yeah, I'm gonna buy, I'll just buy both of these items, hell. I'm at two bombs, I, I could do better than that. Uh, bombs are really, really good for the mom's heart fight. You wanna have like at least like 10 bombs for that fight to clear out the enemies that uh, show up. Unless you have brimstone, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, watch out for that keyhole, that'll still steal my key. And my keys, uh, I need to, whoa, I almost <laughs> opened up that one too. Um, I'm going to save those keys because two is not very many keys. And I'm going to clear out the, ro oh my gosh, I walked right into that one. But I, I didn't really see another option of where to go. It's kind of getting trapped like that. Wow. Wow. All this speed, I still can't dodge. Um, ooh. Demon Judgment. He pays out with really, really good items. I'm going to give him a one. That would have been really nice if he paid out. Um, hopefully, I find something that will uh, give me some more health because I really want to pay. Oh, I panicked. I tried to go the other way and I totally walked into that. Son of a bitch. As I said, I want to find something that gives me more health. No, Tammy's head's not it. You know, we're going to re-roll Tammy's head. And wow, mom's pad, great. It's not good, I don't want mom's pad at all. Um, 
yeah, something. I want something to give my health back because I really want to pay play uh, Demon Judgment. See ya. <sighs> and I don't want to give him any of my soul hearts. So I'm not sure what would really give me all my health back. I, I guess a full health pill uh, to state the most obvious answer. I should be looking for the secret room, probably. And I'm really surprised that I haven't found the uh, boss room yet. Just die. There we go. Wow, great. Two troll bombs. And one more room, and we'll be at another... Oh my gosh, these eternal flies are going to be the death of me. I keep saying that. Everything's going to be the death of me. It's so true, though. <laughs> um... I'm surprised we haven't found the boss fight yet. And money is not really something that I needed, but... I'm also gonna shoot the poop, you never know. You never know what you're gonna find. Usually a penny, if anything. But... And we don't really need a penny, but you never know. Alright. Um, try for the secret room right here. Nope. And we're gonna try for the secret room right here. There we go. I did not want to waste any more bombs than that. Lots of money. I was hoping for an item, but whatever. And I'm gonna go back and re-roll. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, shoot. Because I should probably just go into the boss room so that I could potentially re-roll the boss item. But the boss item's most likely going to be better than Mom's pad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, fuck with it, and I'm gonna re-roll the pad. It's not a good idea, because that is a garbage item. Hopefully we get another reroll before the whole... Before this level ends, because it looks like we might only have one more room until the boss room. Hopefully we have two more rooms. That'll give us uh, another full recharge on the item. Uh, of course, I do have a uh, nun's habit, so I could hurt myself. But it does look like we have two rooms, so that's good. Um, but I could potentially... Fuck you. I got that full recharge now. Ah! Fucking bouncing off rocks like a dick. Skeleton key, which doesn't really do anything for me right now. <sighs> yep, I got that full recharge. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. God, I'm like gonna die. I'm like legitimately nervous right now, as I should be. I can take one, two, three, four, five, five hits until I die. So hopefully I can find something. Give me something, dude. Mom's bra, why are you giving me all of Mom's underwear? That's the only thing it didn't give me is Mom's underwear. Give me Mom's pad, Mom's bra. This is disgusting. I don't want any of these freaking items. Rose. Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna take on the boss. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't take damage off those freaking spikes. I need to preserve myself right now. Um, boss fight before I go up to the top? Yes, I think so. Oh no. This guy's terrible to fight. I hate fighting the fallen. Only thing, well, I guess Krampus. Fucking son of a bitch. Ass, ass. Get him, come here. There we go, that was a perfect shot. God damn it! I'm still taking damage from everybody right now. I might die. This is not cool. So much damage. Maybe like a full health something. I don't even know what that would be, but... Okay, technology. Do I want technology with Polyphemus? Maybe. Potentially. Should I take that? It'd be a really, really strong laser. Yeah, fine. You know, I... Oh my god! Look at that laser! Holy shit! That is the biggest laser I have ever seen. And I'm pretty sure I've seen Polyphemus with technology. That seems broken. Uh, we also have a devil room. Ooh, um, mom's knife and guppy's paw. I think I'm gonna be really, really risky right now. And I'm gonna take guppy's paw. Um, something you need to remember with guppy's paw is that you can put it back down and re-roll it, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna just, I'm gonna drink that paw. So now we have a full two rows and then some of soul hearts, which is really, really risky, as I said. Um, but now I'm going to put it back down. We are two thirds of the way to getting uh, to being Guppy, because I think I got Guppy's head, if I'm not mistaken. 
I did get, well, um, it doesn't say it here, but it doesn't say Copy's Paw either because we put him back down. I think I'm two thirds of the way. Reroll, something good. Oh <laughs> my god. I don't know if I even want Brimstone. My, no, I don't think I do. My tears, it, 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 my tears are so low. And you know what? I'm gonna take the pack. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. This is the biggest fucking laser I have ever seen. This laser takes up half the entire space. Holy shit. It's gonna be so hard though, because I think the hitbox of the laser is still like the same. Holy. Okay, so. I was, okay, I was gonna say if the Devil Room doesn't go away, I can go ahead and hurt myself enough to where I get a recharge. But obviously that's not the case right now. Holy balls, look at this laser. That is insane. Do I wanna go to the next floor or do I wanna finish up this floor? Um, probably finish up this floor since this is, oh my God, that was a mistake. Um, just, I wanna get rid of this guy and I don't want, what? Did you, did you see that? Did you see? that he hit me when I was floating over the rock for safety. That was just complete bullshit. Wow, okay, so that was a one-hit kill on hearts, which have a lot, a lot, a lot of health. But it was really hard to hit the heart. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Really interesting, though. This is what makes Isaac so interesting. <sighs> All the different weird synergies. Oh my god, that was terrible. I'm gonna one-hit kill pretty much everything, but I need to be careful because I could lose all of my health so fucking quickly. It's ridiculous. Can I say ridiculous any more times? I'm not sure if I could. I, I kind of fucked myself into a corner there. There we go. And I'm losing health. I'm bleeding out like fast, so I need to get my shit in order and step it up. This is not a good room for me. This is not gonna be a good room at all. Oh my god! That, that freaking fishula turned around when he was up in that corner. I tried to take his place in the fucking corner. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm panicking. Can you tell that I'm panicking? I can tell that I'm panicking. Holy balls. This is just nuts. Wow. Um, rusted key. I will take that over the goat hoof. We're going plenty fast. Um, give me the boss room or an item room. One-shotting these guys, holy crap. This is the most powerful laser in the world. In the world. Well, that, not scared of, <laughs> not scared of these rooms anymore and I take a freaking heart, heart damage, really? All right, balls of steel, perfect. Um, I think I'm also rolling on permanent, um, Permanent Whore of Babylon as well. Maybe that that could be a reason why the laser is so big. Uh, uh, let's see here, we have library and I could reroll the shit out of the library, but the odds that, uh, yeah, why not? I was gonna say the odds that, you know, I'll be able to reroll this enough to get rid of all of the books is slim. What do you got for me? A nickel, that's a pretty good drop from uh, Book of Sin. But you know what, we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna go for it. Book of Revelations, that's going to be another soul heart for us. And moving on. Hopefully we get a good item room that I don't need to reroll. It'll save me some time and save me some rerolls for that library. Because if you guys don't know, um, if you... <laughs> I love this laser. Hard to hit everybody though. Hard to tell where it's going to actually hit. Look at this! Um, if you guys don't know about Isaac and the whole like reroll thing, uh, with libraries, if you get through all of the books, and I think there's like six or eight of them, then you reroll and it, it'll just turn into normal item room items. Uh, Vampiric Shot is completely worthless for us because it's going to give us a red heart per like every five kills or something like that. And since we don't have any red hearts on us, it's obviously not going to help. Um, boss room, we, I think this is actually second floor, so that'll be a mom, that'll be the mom fight, and you can't get out of the mom fight as soon as you get into the mom fight. Um, yeah, vampiric shot, not good for us. Let's see here, hopefully, I don't think we're gonna get enough rooms, or uh, rerolls to, uh, get through the library right now, like I said, but potentially... We could find more libraries in the future. I still took damage, fuck you. Could find enough libraries in the future to um, make that worth it. 
yeah, I'm definitely gonna make this guy pay out because he usually gives me a health upgrade. I'm not sure if I really want a health upgrade. That's the thing, because I'll, I'll be taken out of uh, um, permanent Horror of Babylon, and that's not what I want. So maybe I'll re-roll. No, 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 no. I ah, God damn it. He did give me one, too. Do I want to re-roll the health upgrade? I'll just take the goddamn health upgrade. It's not exactly what I wanted because now my laser is not going to be doing as much damage. I'm not going to get take that gray chest. I'm going to go back and re-roll the library. You know what? I can go to the blood bank and I'll get rid of half a red heart. That'll be perfect. Hopefully it'll pay out in half a red heart. All right, reroll this, and we have a couple more books here to get rid of. All right, I wonder if I took this and I used it, if my my uh, laser will be even bigger. <laughs> it's like turning orange and green now. Oh my lordy! All right, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna go to the south this time, I think. If I really wanted to, I could go to the blood bank and run back and get all of the hearts that are laying around. I might do that just for those three, but I don't want to spend too much time doing that. Bam! Bam! I'm like Emerald Lagasse. Emerald Lagasse plays Binding of Isaac. Speed upgrade. I mean, I didn't really need this, the speed, but... <laughs> it's just gonna be like freaking speedrun shit. I'm just gonna run around and kill everything. Uh, secret room was found for us. Three cents. That's the worst secret room ever, but... I mean, I can't really complain. I'm, I'm really glad I didn't take Brimstone because this is ending up uh, being a really, really fun fun uh, combination of items that we have going here. I'm going to spend like six cents on this thing. Per usual, Soul Hearts, excellent. That's exactly what I want from it. I got a Luck Up too, so I think... Uh, I'm not sure actually... I don't think the Luck Up really matters um, on, the, on gambling. The Hermit card, it's not really worth anything for us right now. Actually, the Hermit card could be a good thing because that'll teleport us out of the mom room. Um, I did spend six cents already, so I think I'm gonna leave. Um, I, I could bomb it, but I only have three bombs and I need them for the mom heart battle. This is ridiculous. Um, the shop, great. Okay, so there is a shop. We're definitely gonna check that out. I, didn't I already fight a greed? I thought I already fought a greed. I could be mistaken. But uh, just more coins, I guess. We could gamble um, our lives away and be in a really, really good position. But I don't think I'm gonna spend too long gambling. Oh, God damn it, got stuck in the fucking door. Okay, so we have three there, we have one there, counting up half hearts, and one there. So that's five half hearts I can go through. So let's see here, there's one. Like I said, I'm just gonna do these five and then I'll call it a day if it hasn't paid out by then. Here's two. That's gonna get really annoying. And this will be... Okay, so it's not really five because that one is gonna give me only a half a heart for the whole thing. It's gonna be four. There's three. I really like the position that we're in though. Uh, how we're gonna be rolling on permanent Ahura uh, Babylon, but we have lots of health. <laughs> Soul heart health. Okay, and one more. We'll see if it pays out. If not, it's not a big deal. Um, oh crap, you know what? I should really be using that as a thing to get more rerolls. Why weren't you guys telling me about that? That's what I'm gonna do. So I might use the rest of those red hearts. I wish I would have thought about that beforehand because I do have the nun's habit. So every time I get hurt by the blood bank, it gives me an extra charge. So we could definitely make it all the way through um, the library items. And what was in the, sh in the uh, item room? I don't remember what it was. Something garbage, probably. Uh, oh, vampiric shot. Yeah, I mean, that's pointless. I mean, it's not as pointless now considering we have one heart, but the, the chance that... We, we don't want the heart, right? Because we're going to get ourselves down to half a heart and we don't want another half heart that these vampiric shots going to give me because that'll take me off of permanent uh, horror Babylon. All right, so this is gonna be good to generate rerolls. See, now I have um, 
three pieces of that charge. And now if I get one more half heart here, I know this is going to take forever. Bear with me. You can do it, I believe in you. I'm gonna get this piece here. Go all the way back, and then we'll have another full recharge. And it's probably gonna be at least one more in the library. I'm guessing it's exactly one more before we get to the actual items, so. Go ahead and do this. We're at 86 cents, which is ridiculous. So we could potentially play uh, the three skull guy for more health, and with 86 cents, he's like guaranteed to drop some health. <laughs> Not that uh, having health really increases the chance of that dropping, it's just that. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, yeah, like he, he pays out with health probably every, you know, fifth time. Lard, okay, so Lard is going to give us two more hearts. Do I want more health? I'm not sure. I'm not completely convinced I want more health. Which sounds like I'm just being an absolute snot right now because health, you know, you see a lard bucket in the beginning of the game and you're like, yes, best day ever. But right now I'm kind of thinking I don't want it. Weird. Um, and it's going to be a speed down too. So I think I'm not going to take the lard or the infestation because I already have poison touch. So this is odd. I'm going to go ahead and keep generating um, Jesus, that was close. Keep generating the rerolls, and we're gonna get one more reroll with the amount of uh, red hearts that are left, and then I'll probably just gamble for it, assuming that the blood bank doesn't go away. This is almost like one of the random cases where I do want the IV bag to drop because, like I said, more health is not really beneficial to us since we're running on uh, Permanent Horror Babylon. Now, if I say Horror Babylon one more time, you have the right to just slap me in the face. <laughs> I don't want to say it anymore. But this laser, Jesus, I forgot about the laser. <laughs> oh my gosh, this run is awesome. I love runs like this. This is so interesting. And we're in a really good shape too. In a really good shape. We're in a really good shape like a square, you know, or like a circle. Those are really good shapes. We're not in like a triangle, because that would just be uncomfortable, you know? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't listen to me, I'm losing my mind. All this backtracking. Okay, give me something good. Uh, dead, dead Boyd and the Coin Puss. Um, we don't want either of those items. We don't really. Infestation, Dead Bird, and Poison Touch are all items that only activate when you get touched, when you get hurt. hurt. And the goal here is to never get hurt. So, oh my god, oh my god, I'm just, I tried to put my hand back on the keyboard because I like took it off to <laughs> wipe my hands off. And then I used my freaking card, but at least it didn't take the damage. Although that would have put us one step closer to another reroll, which would have been a good thing. Okay, so I'm not sure how long I'm really gonna spend doing this. Uh, and since I have 86 cents, I might as well play the fortune teller machine to uh, give me a chance for different trinket and give me a chance to get the um, more soul hearts and also the uh, crystal ball. This guy's paying out like money. Lots of money. Give me something. Okay, Mom's Pearl, I'm gonna take that. I think that's like a increased 10% chance of red hearts turning into soul hearts, I do believe. I could be wrong. I could be just completely pulling all this out of my ass. Sometimes I get too lazy to look at the, uh, the wiki page. I want to get to a point where I don't have to look at the wiki page. Um, I will take that and I will use that. Justice cards is going to give me a bunch of stuff. We will all die one day. Alright. I should really be playing the, the three sculpt guy more considering he's going to be paying me with uh, more red hearts than the... I don't think that red hearts come out of the fortune telling machine at all unless you blow it up. Ooh, Joker card takes me directly to the Devil Room. <laughs> I don't really have the health to spend on it though. So what I'm going to do is hold off on that. And this bone in the ground underneath my feet right now, you see that bone? That looks like a penis, I'm not gonna lie. Um, anyways, I'm gonna hold off just in case the blood bank pays out. And uh, speaking of blood bank paying out, I can go ahead and do that right now. There we go, blood bank paid out. Great. Um, and I do have another reroll because of it. 
So what am I going to do? I'm going to pick up the blood bag, and I am going to go ahead and go over to the library and hope that I get some good items, because I think that's going to be just about it for us with the reroll chances, unless I take damage on Mom, which I absolutely could, but then I can't teleport out of the Mom fight, so this is it. This is all we got. Something good, please! Um, yes! Damage up! And Monsters 2, which is not good. I mean, we, we got the damage up. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna completely skip the... Um, oh my god, that laser. <laughs> I'm gonna completely skip the vampiric shot because, like I said, um, I don't really... Well, now that I'm not running on permanent soul heart... <sighs> tricky. It's tricky. This is really tricky. I wish I was running on permanent soul hearts. Or permanent horror Babylon. I said it again. Damn it. Slap me. But I can't anymore because we don't have the blood bag. Or we don't have the blood bank. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna play this guy like four more times and then I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Red hearts do me absolutely nothing anymore. Keys and bombs are, are really good finds for me right now. Um, skeleton key, we don't really need that right now, but sure. Um, this guy's paying out like a moaf. I think luck up must help me with this guy because he is paying out with a lot of stuff. Of course, as I'm talking about it, as I'm talking him up, he screws me out of some stuff. God damn it. Okay, two more times. I'm gonna go down to 70 cents. That's what I'm gonna do. I needed those bombs. Um, Scatoli, or whatever it is, the Scatol, whatever you wanna call it, I, I really like that item. I wish he would've paid out with that because it's so nice not to have to worry about flies. Um, that'll do it for me now. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb the shit out of him. And Red Heart's useless. I'm just gonna go beeline it for the boss room and be done with this floor. I'm, I'm kind of sick of it by now. <sighs> Alright. Should be a pretty easy fight. And the Joker, I'll save that for the next floor. Um, another health up would have actually been nice now that I, you know, missed my chance to get the lard. But I thought I was gonna be able to um, get away with not doing it. Okay, so I guess Vampiric Shot, we might as well take that considering we're not gonna be on. Um, Horror Babylon anymore. Okay, so maybe I'll just try to cheese mom. You can cheese her pretty easily from this location right here. Assuming she doesn't spawn too many things that hurt you. There we go. <laughs> Another health up. Dear lord. Okay, so that's actually going to be really good for us when we're going to the next floor because I'm going to pop the Joker card and get the uh, Devil Room item. Um, I'm gonna wait though until I get a recharge. Uh, 10 keys. Yes, we can do this. Okay. He didn't even have time to shoot back at me. Did you see that? The doppelganger didn't have enough time to shoot at me. Um, reroll. We need one more room. We need one more room. We need one more room. Uh, health up. Okay, you know what? At this point, give me all the health ups you can give me because we're going to the devil room, right? Right? Um, actually, I think Lump of Coal will just give me like a, a damage increase if I fight Krampus. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Um, Spirit of the Night and Dead Cat. Oh my gosh. So if we were to take Dead Cat, I think we would lose all of our health, which would be the death of us, but we would be Guppy. And Guppy with this laser would be pretty insane, but... I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can justify that. And we obviously don't need Spirit of the Night. Um, actually, Spectral Laser would be pretty epic. <sighs> Shit, man. Um, I'm gonna reroll them. Uh, Ouija board, Spectral Tears again. I mean, that's exact same as it would have been with Spirit of the Night. So, yeah, we'll take it. We have enough health. I'm not worried about that. So now, oh my god, Red Laser. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, um, now I can shoot through everything, which is actually really, really nice with uh, the technology. And we need to find where mom is, not mom, it's utero one, which means um, mom is until the next floor. So I wanna find the boss room though as quickly as I can and not take damage like that. Okay, keys and bombs, B bombs, is, we, we need bombs. Uh, I won't uh, lie. Although it's not necessary. There we go. Which way? Left or down? Uh, left. Nope, that was not the right one. 
Oh my gosh, it's so hard to like position this correctly. Look at this. It's, it just misses them every other time because it's still that tiny stream that you have to hit him with. But it does so much freaking damage, it's insane. I have a feeling it's all the way to the right. And I'm gonna go with that. It's a gut feeling. Okay, that's fine with me. Ooh, Steven, more damage up. Holy shit. This is the most powerful laser in the universe. Oh my god. Okay, let's see here. Obviously the damage shows that it's just off the charts. Oh my god. Ridiculous. And nothing... And, and with the Ouija board, this actually makes it so overpowered, I can't even fucking explain how overpowered this is right now. <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna be one-shotting everything. And what was that? I like, I like four-shotted mom. This, oh my gosh, love this right now. And what, I'm, I'm really tickled by this. I know that was probably the gayest thing I could have said, but I am because I haven't seen, um, I mean, obviously I haven't seen all of like Northern Lions or Biznaps videos, but I haven't seen them with a run like this. There's a good chance they have had a run like this, but you know, this is new to me and I, like I said, am pretty damn tickled. Um, yeah, we'll get that. It could have been a health up, you never know. And uh, we're gonna one shot everybody. Give me a monster, would you? Chubb, that's fine. Okay, two shot at Chubb. He's got some more health. Okay, we're gonna be like three shotting monster. Oh, that's surprising. But that's fine. We're just gonna roll through everything. Loving this right now. This is so freaking awesome. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. We should be able to defeat Isaac, no problem. So when you're fighting Isaac or Blue Baby, it's really, really important to have something that doesn't have that many, uh, doesn't have that high of a rate of fire, like Polyphemus or Polyphemus. I keep saying Polyphemus, but I should just stick with one. Polyphemus, um, it, that's a, that's a really good item to have with when you're when you're fighting Isaac, because the more times you hit Isaac, the more. Oh, come on! That was after the whistle. Ref! Ref! Give me a call on that. Give me give me look at the camera for that one. That was ridiculous. The more times you hit Isaac, the more shots he shoots at you. And, obviously, um, with a rate up, you're gonna hit him more, and he's gonna shoot more shit at you. Should be no problem. Double Loki. Boom! He didn't even get a shot off. Coin purse. Do I want the coin purse? There's health ups. There's speed ups. There's bad gas. Was there any negative pills? I don't think there was any negative pills. Um, we can go for something ridiculous, or we can just suck it up and go with the coin purse. We'll just go with the coin purse, that's fine. Let's not push our luck here. Health up, that's fine with me. Get that health. Uh, luck up, two luck up pills. <laughs> sure, why the hell not? And a bad trip pill. Okay, we'll just keep the bad trip pill on us because if we were to ever get down to half a heart, that bad trip pill is going to turn into a full health pill. All right, 11 bombs, 13 keys, 78 cents. We're doing so freaking well. I'm not even mad that there wasn't even an item room or a shop on that floor. Like, it's fine. I understand, game. I'm way too overpowered right now. Like, why would you want to help me any more than you already have? Or more than I already have, since I did the heavy lifting to get all the freaking items and re-roll them. Uh, sacrifice room? Yeah, we'll go. Spiders, that's fine. I don't even care at this point. It really doesn't matter. We're gonna win. Alright, not a problem. Let's see here, another health up pill. That's totally fine with me, like I said. We're so far away from being Horror Babylon that it doesn't even matter anymore. And yes, I realize you guys get to slap me like 17 times. If you ever see me at PAX and you give me a good WAP, make sure you tell me it's because I said Horror of Babylon too much. Um, that'll be the only thing that'll uh, explain that and make that okay. Otherwise, you're just going to be an asshole and I'll just pop you one in the face. All right. Orbitals would be really, really nice if this was to pay out with um, some pretty flies, but that's obviously not going to be the case. Getting a guardian angel right now would probably be best case scenario. Uh, mom's fight, do we just freaking shotgun it? Just go ahead and go for the mom's fight battle or be clear out the rooms? I'm, I'm kind of inclined to clear out the rooms since it's going to be so easy to do so. And I'm just going to have a little bit more fun um, just freaking trolling everything in the troll engine. <laughs> 
Fuck you, troll game. <laughs> look who's uh, look who's trolling now, bitch. All right, guts, you gonna go down? So much money. Um, actually, the secret room is probably right here. If I had to guess, yes, it is. And one up pill or one up pill. I should have rerolled that. One up is really useless. We're not going to die. I could have gotten something better, but here I am, looking a gift horse in the mouth, as uh, Northern Lion would say. You know, I'm complaining about already being in probably one of my best runs in my entire life. Uh, bad gas, I don't really care about that. We'll take the bad trip instead. Yeah, I mean, here I am. I'm like, oh god, I didn't get exactly what I wanted, even though I'm just rolling this game right now. There's no chance we can lose. I'm so looking forward to fighting Isaac. It's, it's too bad I did not unlock the chest yet, because I would have rolled that as well. I'm trying to think, is there anything that would... Flat penny, that's gonna give me more keys. Um, no, we'll, we'll roll with Mom's Pearl. Soul hearts are better better than keys at this point. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything that's going to derail this run. I don't really think there could be anything that would derail this run. Temperance is going to be a blood bank. We could potentially play the shit out of the blood bank. Um, so I think I'm gonna actually do that, especially... Okay, so there's an arcade, so there's already a blood bank to uh, play with. Yeah. We'll go ahead and go into here, and we'll play it. I don't think there's any uh, bonuses for taking the um, the blood bank into like the devil room. I don't really think there's any kind of a bonus for us. Uh, permanent uh, horror Babylon. Like I said, I was never going to do that again. That was never going to happen. But here we are, rolling on <laughs> freaking horror Babylon. Now I need to. Um, only pick up full hearts, because otherwise I won't be... Otherwise it, it'll take away my effect. I don't want... I want the half heart. I'm only gonna pick that up unless I get another half heart. Alright, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna really spend on doing this, considering I, I do have... Uh, another blood bank waiting. I'm. I, it, we could be here all day, really, and I'm already like an hour into this run, which is pretty insane. Just pay out, dude. I just took damage off of that. I just walked right into that fly. That was terrible. Probably lost a full soul heart there. Some more money. That's kind of whatever at this point. Uh, blue pill. That's a luck up. I'm not sure how high your luck can even go. Freaking fly, two of them. Uh, Scatoli. Pastajoli would actually be really, really nice right now. Scatoli. That sounds like it's like some freaking, um, I was gonna say Irish, but it's obviously not Irish, it's Italian. Those are so not the same thing at all. <laughs> Complete brain fart. Okay, um, just give me some more hearts, dude. Give me some more hearts, you know you want to. God damn it, this guy. With all of my luck, this guy's not paying out with anything. These hearts, I need these hearts. Give me them. No! Okay, so I got another half heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend that on the blood bank. Another health up pill. Totally fine with getting as many health up pills as I can get. What I really should do is go ahead and pick up all of the uh, hearts that are around the map. That'll save me some time right now. I'm gonna do that after I do this guy one more time. Right. There we go. I'm gonna get them all. Hopefully not land at a half heart interval. If I will, I'm just not gonna pick it up. For obvious reasons. I don't want to be slapped anymore, then I'm already going to be. Half heart, so if this other one's a half heart, then I'll pick them both up. This one's a full heart, so I'll just pick that one up, okay. Nope, that's a dead end. And I'm gonna get myself back down so that I can get into that challenge room, that mob trap room. Totally forgot that even existed. So that's a thing. Let's see here, we're gonna make our way around. It's gonna take a while. I'm sorry about this. I know this episode's really, really long. Okay, so it paid out and it, it gave me the uh, IV bag. That's fine. That's all I wanted. It, I wanted to pay out. I didn't want the IV bag, obviously, but I think we can re-roll it. We can re-roll it to the mini mush? That's speed and range. Okay, well range is pointless right now and speed is we're I think we're kinda maxed out because I don't it doesn't look like we're really going faster. Uh, and as I said, we're gonna go to the mob trap room 
And actually, this is going to be not a full health. Okay, so I, I think it does include soul hearts. It has to be down to half a heart, um, including soul hearts, in order for that bad trip pill to turn into a full health pill. So we're just not even going to worry about it. But the mob boss room, it uh, does not include soul hearts, so you can get in here. Um, no, that's really bad. I don't want that at all, actually. We'll see if we can get a reroll. If we can get a reroll, I'm gonna come back to this room. Oh my gosh, though. I need to get health in order to get a reroll because I don't want to take any soul heart damage. And I could play the, t the, the temperance card to lay another blood bank in order to get uh, more ways to damage just my red hearts. So it doesn't look like that's going to be the case, though. Unless this drops like three red hearts, which it probably won't. No, of course it doesn't. And I got a, did I get a half heart somewhere? Oh, Vampiric Shot! It did end up screwing me over! I shouldn't have taken it. Okay, well, then you know what? We can pick up this half heart and I'll drop the uh, Temperance card. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Fine. Um, you know what? I'm gonna play the, the, the Three Skulled guy until he gives me some more red hearts. And then I'm gonna play the Temperance card, uh, get up to another reroll, go into the mob boss room. I'll play this one too. I've got plenty of money. Because either of them could be paying out with red hearts. I think this machine's actually been paying out with more red hearts. The slot machine. And the freaking red than the three sculpt guy does. Which is not usual for me. Alright. God, these guys are not paying out at all. He was paying out out of his ass before. Jeez. Okay, that blew up. 13 bombs, which is really good. I feel really safe for the mom heart battle. Red hearts, dude. Red hearts. You're not getting message. Red hearts. Nope. Checking the time here. Okay, there we go. I need this. Give me this. Damn you. Freaking troll. They're not going to want to help me in any way, shape, or form right now. They are trying to screw me over. This guy, look at that smile on his face. It's so just from screwing me over. Give me that! God damn it! <laughs> ah, there it is again! He's trolling me. I'm going to try this side. No! <laughs> okay, um, fuck this. You know, I'm going to bomb you. I don't even care. I put the coin in there and it didn't even wait for whatever to pay out. Um, fine. It can fucking take a soul heart. Just... Give me the goddamn reroll, would ya? Would you do that? It's up here. Black penny. Don't want it. We are going to. We should be looking for the super secret room as well. Because there's a few spots that could be. You know what? I'm gonna do that quick. I'm gonna try to find the super secret room. I'm just gonna try a few of the locations that I think it's going to be in. That being one of them. And there's actually a red heart over here. I didn't even see that. It was behind the boss symbol. Oh, there's a couple red hearts over here. I didn't know about that. I'm not going to pick that one up because I want to be at a half heart interval. So now I can play the Temperance card. And... First of all, I'm going to check to see if the secret room's right here. Super secret room, that is. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to play this twice, and I'm going to get my reroll. Perfect. And I'm going to go in here and reroll that into Wire Coat Hanger. That's going to be a rate of fire up, and that's actually really, really good for us right now to be shooting faster. This is ridiculous. Like, what was the one thing that could have made this a better run? Uh, tears up is what it could have been. <laughs> oh my god. Just roll them. Empress card, that's fine with me. Empress card is just going to give us more damage, which at this point is insane to even talk about, but here we are talking about it. I'm gonna pop that on the mom heart battle. Well, you know what? I'm gonna just save that for the Isaac fight. Might as well. Because the Isaac fight's gonna be most likely tougher. Um, did I already check this spot? I did check that spot. I'm gonna check, um, yeah, let's just check one spot over here to see if we can find that super secret room. Could be there. It is not there. Uh, could be here, actually. Nope, okay. Here we are. Let's do it. So not even worried. Those guys didn't even get a shot off. Look at this! Oh my god! We're going through her health so fast. She got one enemy out. 
one enemy. Well, I mean, a group. One group of enemies out t before I killed her. <laughs> that has to be one of the quickest runs I've ever seen. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go out and I'm going to um, spend this one heart on the blood bank so that we can get the, the uh, H O or W O B H O B or spell with an H. Oh my god, that was stupid. Um, yeah, so now we have the wob, the wob effect. That's what I'm gonna call it. We're wobbling, and we're gonna go up to the cathedral and just roll the shit out of it. Hopefully. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, I am having so much fun in this run. It is insane. You're dead. There we go. Not a problem. And left to right. I'm gonna go to the left. Okay. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Oh, why did I pick up that red heart? Fuck me, I'm not gonna have uh freaking that was dumb. I didn't even think about it, because I wanted to be uh I wanted to be wobbing. I wanted to be have the wobble effect. But here we are. Isaac fights, let's not complain. You know what, Empress actually gives us the same effect as the Wob, so it doesn't matter in any way, shape, or form, and we are just kicking his fucking ass right now. Holy shit. Didn't even, he didn't even spawn Guardian Angels. He didn't even have time to spawn Guardian Angels. This was probably my best Isaac run, and probably will be my best Isaac run, run for a long time to come. Thank you guys for watching and being a part of this. This was amazing. Um, yeah, awesome. Freaking awesome. Loving it. Let's get this uh, piece of the... of the Polaroid here. I cannot believe how much damage we got when... I wasn't even gonna take technology, remember? I was like, oh, well we got Polyphemus, so I might just roll with Polyphemus, and then I picked up the laser, and it was just insane. Oh my gosh. That has to be one of the more broken um, combinations of items. I don't know, because I, I've seen Polyphemus, like I said, I've seen Polyphemus mixed with technology and it wasn't that strong. That was insane. I don't know what was going into that one, but uh, anyways, looks like we have one more piece to go, I think, I hope, and I will see you next time. See you guys.